What's up, Aries? This is Soul here. And Aries, we're going to look at some energy here for you starting November 26th and ending December 3rd, 2023. Aries, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using the Gilded Tarot to deliver your messages. We're going to cleanse the energies from Dawn Pisces reading, and then we shall begin. There are some reversals here, and um, we're going to start, okay? I hope you guys had a, a wonderful and relaxing Thanksgiving. I did. I ate and I watched football. <laughs> Couldn't ask for anything better. Okay. Energies for Aquarius. Uh, I'm sorry. Energies for Aries, not Aquarius. We already did Aquarius. Show Aries what they need to know this week, please. What's coming up for Aries? What can Aries expect? Energies for Aries. All right, here we go, Aries. We're going to start off with, um, for you, we got the, yeah, I did it again. Okay, I turned the deck around. <laughs> okay, we're going to start off with the lovers for you guys, because the lovers was, uh, oh, I'm sorry. The lovers must be in there. But anyway, the first card to start your energy off, um, however, Aries, is the towers. All right, so you're the first sign that's received the tower so far. We'll talk about that, okay? The next card is the um, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is in a reverse, okay? Feeling less energetic this week, some of you. Queen of Pentacles, okay? That's the promotion, the job offer. Boss in the workplace environment. We have the... Wait a minute. Did I do it? I did. Okay, I see. I thought that was the lovers. And what we're going to do here, because I caught my mistake. Yes. Okay. During the shuffle here, I always seem to, when I fan it and then, you know, do that thing, I think I reverse it on my own, but because of certain cards that have shown up in the other videos that I've uh, already done, in fairness to you, we're going to do this this way. The tower is one of the cards that was selected, uh, which I didn't know, that was in the reverse, and the only way I knew that was because of the um, seven of pentacles that has showed up here for, um, it was either Pisces or Aquarius, I think it was Aquarius, that was in the upright position, so I knew I'd Turned it around here, okay? And that was my fault, so I do apologize. The tower being in the uh, reverse <laughs> position for you guys is actually pretty good. It's still strong, but it's not going to be as effective or powerful as it would be if it was in the upright position. Thank God for that. Now, the Nine of Wands is you, you're going to be busy this week doing some stuff. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which was a card that showed up in uh, another reading that was in the reverse. There's a job on hold or delay. And uh, because there's two, you know, sides that I read concerning this uh, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So, but we'll get back to that. All right. So following that is the, here it is, the Knight of Swords. You're like the fourth or fifth sign that has received this Knight of Swords in the reverse position. Okay. Then we have the Chariot Major Arcana. All right. Pay attention to the Major Arcanas here for you, uh, Aries. They carry a lot of weight. Next up is the um, the strength card. Wow. Underneath that tower, significant. Then we have the queen of wands, attracting, uh, drawing some sort of energy towards you. Then we have the um, king of swords. Okay. Major action, major decision. We have the justice card that started um, Sagittarius is reading off that was in the upright position. So things balancing themselves out, things being in your favor. Then we finish off with the Eight of Wands was in the reverse. And it's still a good card in the reverse. I'll explain that. And then your shadow is the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Temperance that was in the reverse that showed up for another uh, video that I recorded. And then we had the um, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so you have the Knight of Cups in the reverse just to show you what it looks like. All right, so let's pull a story together here for you to see what's coming up, Aries. So again, with the towers a reversal, that simply means that less shocking news, less devastation, um, not getting yourself engaged or involved in any types of uh, arguments with anyone, okay? Avoiding that energy, 
keep in mind that the tower, whether it's in the upright or in the reverse position, still has some sort of strength, but it's less powerful when it's in the reverse. And I had no idea that the lovers, I mean, not the lovers, but the tower was one of the cards that I reversed. I only reversed 10 cards, but I never saw that. And so when I flipped it over, I thought it was the lovers, but it was actually the tower. Uh, and then when I saw the bottom card, which was the seven of pentacles, I knew that I had somehow switched the deck and turned it around. Anyway, moving along, the nine of wands here is just, you know, energy this week for you, uh, Aries. Uh, doing things that's either planned or unplanned, you'll have energy to do what you need to take care of. So that could be involving work-related matters, anything involving uh, doing things for yourself, family members, or friends. Queen of Pentacles, as I said in the reverse position, simply means that there is a job on hold or a promotion. Uh, better yet, when the King of uh, Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse, that means that there is a promotion managerial or supervisory that's on hold or delay, but it's still forthcoming. This still would represent your boss in the workplace environment and or creditors. But while it's in the reverse, it may not be a good time to ask for any f uh, favors or apply for any credit because usually that's a, a no answer, right? <laughs> They're not going to be in favor of you. So be um, very careful. And of course, we moved into the season of spending. The queen of pentacles in the reverse could actually um mean for some of you that you know you have to be also careful about overspending all right so that's the queen of pentacles in the reverse the nine of swords is um the card of action when it's in the upright and it's faced in the past so i always say that the knight of swords when it shows up in the upright is always involving something in terms of a decision or an action related to your recent past when it's in the reverse that means you're indecisive or not willing to take uh, action, um, whether it's involving your recent past or not, this week, because this is usually some sort of lack of communication or you didn't gather enough information to move forward. The chariot represents the card of um, positive movement. Very positive movement. I equate that with that of the star card and the nine of cups, of course. So, you know, whatever it is that you're hoping for, wishing for, praying for to occur this week, Aries, it may be realized. Some of you may be traveling. If you are, you're safe to and from. Some of you may be deciding to purchase homes. Maybe that's why the Knight of Swords is in the reverse. Or purchase a car, not a home. There may be some sort of indecision related to car repairs, major or minor. Just don't be the Aries that gets behind the wheel of any vehicle. Disregard the speeding limit because you will end up with a moving violation. Social networking, social media, there may be an increase or an expansion of that energy. And that could be looking for work, looking for romance, staying in communication with family members, romantic partners and friends. All that energy falls underneath the chariot. Very strong, very positive. Then you have nothing to fear or to worry about because what follows that chariot is the strength card, which you're part of that energy, but it represents Leo the lion. Okay, so feeling courageous, feeling strong, feeling powerful. Any obstacles or challenges that you are faced with this week, Aries, you will overcome. This card here represents uh, a great deal of intensity, a great deal of passion, and it definitely deals with sexual energy, sexual expression. Queen of Wands here is another card of attraction, sexual energy, sexual expression. She's focused on something or someone. Normally, she goes after what she's focused on. This card could be a greater expansion or expression of creative energy for some Aries out there. And also, too, um, I think I mentioned that already. Intensity, passion, sexual energy, sexual expression, right? And a card of strong attraction. The next card up is the King of Swords. It's the card here that trumps the Knight of Swords. And um, I think the Queen of Swords was in a, someone else's spread, and they also received the Knight of Swords. So it might have been Pisces, but it doesn't matter. What I'm here to tell you is that the King of Swords, and because I lay these cards down sequentially for you, Aries, doesn't mean the energy is going to flow or open up the way that you see the cards being presented here. The energy has the potential of opening up however it wants to express itself. But this here 
King of Swords is the card that represents communication, gathering facts, information, sitting there waiting to strike, using that sword to strike because you've already gathered the information that you need. So you're ready to move forward. So this may trump the Knight of Swords for anyone who is indecisive or not willing to take action, whether or regardless if it's connected to your recent past, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that is the King of Swords. Then we have the Justice card. Things are in your favor. This is also going to take down some of the energy of the uh, tower, like the um, chariot. It mirrors over here to the chariot. And then also the Strength card, which is underneath. So I forgot to mention that. The Justice is in your favor. The scales here are balanced. This card represents liberty, freedom, peace, definitely love. On-the-job training, any legalities, it could be lawsuits, judgments. They're all going to be in your favor. Workman's comp all in your favor, okay? Balanced energy involving uh, other areas of your life may come to the forefront with the Justice card. Eight of Wands here in the reverse simply means that in spite of, and this is why I always tell you guys to pay attention to the Major Arcanas because they do trump the Minors. This is a card that I always talk about, you know, communication. Communication may be off a little bit for some of you, but... Uh, in terms of still reading it positive, there is something that's going to come that may put a smile on your face, but something is delaying. Something's holding it up. It may have something to do with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, and I always say effective communication. So there could be miscommunication with the Eight of uh, Wands. So good news could still put a smile on your face that could come through the uh, hard copy mail. It could be a phone call. Then there's possible traveling uh, adjustments, delays with the Eight of Wands in the reverse position. Shadow energy here, the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you are going to be working hard for those coins. This could be a uh, you know moderate pay raise for some of you. Options that may open up to others in other areas. So be on the lookout for that. Temperance card here. And because the Temperance card showed up with the Justice card, the Justice card and the Temperance card being in the reverse it repels the energy. So this is a beautiful card too. So it doesn't really matter if the temperance card, because it usually uh, involves restoration of some sort of balance, peace, love, harmony, blah, 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 right? But the justice card is here. So it sort of like repels that energy. Maybe not spending, you know, times outdoors enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty for some of you. Maybe the reason why the temperance card is in the reverse. Then we have the... Um, Knight of Cups that's in the reverse. Okay, so usually I talk about emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment whenever the King, Queen, or the Knight of Cups shows up here, or the Ace of Cups. Um, but you have to understand that there's some sort of energy here related to a relationship. Now, this could be family. This could be friend. I normally hold the you know, the, the uh, Knight of Cups with romance. So there could be some sort of emotional stuff going on here involving Aries and a relationship that, you know, creates some sort of emotional, either on your behalf or on their behalf. Something's coming up here. And the person does not have to be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, Aries. Again, it's not too bad. You know, you just take what's going to work for you because it's just me interpreting the uh, cards. So I still would throw in a, you know, extra word of caution and safety with the tower. However, it is in the reverse. And, um, you know, give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. You guys uh, be safe, of course. Keep smiling for me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.